we have seen the MVC pattern. MVC stands for model, view and controller. So what is this model, view and controller? Model is the domain object or it holds the data related to the context or related to the domain. So a model can be a JavaScript object or a JSON object. It can be a PHP object with setter and getter methods. It can be a Java object, plain old Java object or it can be a Java bean with the uh, setter and getter methods. It can be a DTO that is data transfer object. It can be a value object in case of EJB. It can be a, a, a bean or a kind of a, a container which holds the data related to the domain. So let's say if you are working on some student management system then student, teacher, subject. So all these domain related data or the domain entities which have data for it like student have name grades age so this model will contain this data of individual student or it can contain a list of the students so this is nothing but model while view is like it shows the content of the model to the end user or the application user so view can be html it can be a jsp page it can be a php page it can be a asp page or it can be a mobile app like hybrid app or native app or it can be a win32 win application used build using vb or it can be anything if it is ruby on rails or if it is php or if it is java there can be different terminologies like JSPs, ASPs, PHPs. So the view is nothing but the, the technology or the terminology which shows the content of the model to the end user or the application user. But here model don't know that my content is getting showed to the end user on the view and view also don't know like what content it is showing to the end customer and this is typically handled by the controller so when on the view if certain action is getting performed by the application user let's say click or let's say click on a link or click on a button or uh, adding some text into text uh, input text or text area or selecting some drop down so if any user action is performed on the view then the controller will start working on that i mean some event on the view will trigger some function in the controller and the logic is written inside the controller the domain logic is written inside the controller and then it changes the model according to what action it is needed. Let's say I'm viewing a list of the students in a school and I say I click on edit button. Then the controller will fetch that specific student data from the list and view the individual student data on the view which is inside a text input type text. It will be editable now if I want to edit it. Let's see if I click delete. It will prompt me with maybe with the uh, alert box. Okay, do you want to delete this specific student? And if I hit delete, then the controller will talk to the database and delete that row from the database. And then accordingly, it will update the model. Let's say if you are viewing a list of all students and if you hit certain student to delete it should get removed from the list and then the model content let's say if, if the model is the least of the students then that specific row should be removed or that specific 
if it is let's say array of the or list of the students then that specific entity should get removed and then it should get reflected to the views let's say for example like a take a transaction uh, I, I do have a bank account and I have logged into the bank account and I'm on the view right now which is showing my current balance and all that if I hit a transact uh, a transfer button so the controller will uh, on the transfer button what it like it's a maybe a link to the another page which shows okay if you want to transfer something you have to enter these details so I'm that view I'm on that view right now so I entered the the person to whom I want to transfer the amount maybe his account number his or her account number the amount which I want to transfer and then when I want to transfer and then I hit ok transfer now or something like that then the controller will need to check go back to the database and check whether it's like ok whether it's correct amount whatever I have entered is it the less than amount whatever the amount right now I do have in my account if it is greater than it should show me ok you cannot transfer and if it is valid then it should call some APIs third party APIs to transfer that or maybe if I am using the same bank let's say I am transferring from from a account in the same bank only then it will call some APIs internally and then it will call database deduct that amount from my and add that amount to the other account and then it will reflect back to me it will update the model accordingly so it will uh, update my account balance right now and then uh, it should add this transaction to the tra transaction list and then it show to me on the view but the thing is that what it is happening here is hell lot of logic is being written in the controller itself like for transaction only controller has to do a lot of things so what it is happening according to the solid principles solid principle where S stands for single responsibility principle so every class you write or every entity you write it should have a single responsibility or it should be highly cohesive so all the things if I'm adding it to the controller which talks to the database as well which writes the business logic as well we are not following this single responsibility principle all it is not highly cohesive if something breaks I need to change a controller only and there is a hell lot of dependency on the controller itself so then we can come up with the other pattern which is called as MVCS I will call it as MVCS rather or I will call it as MVCS D so D, can, D stands for the DAO layer which is data access object and S stands for the service so there one more layer will be added service so first layer is view second layer is controller third is the model fourth is the service fifth is the DAO and sixth is the database so here what will happen a user may make a request which goes to controller and then controller won't have any logic it will just know what model to update and what view to call but then what are the business logic or talking to the database and everything we can move it from the controller to the service layer so business layer or the business interface uh, I will call it as in APIs business APIs will reside in the service layer only it will not be in the controller controller will only update the model and will render the view which is correct for that specific context so if I am on a view my transaction details page then the controller should update the model it should be a list of transactions which I have done maybe in last one month and view should be the transaction details page which should be able to view the content of that model while retrieving these models data 
from the database or from APIs that will be done by the service and controller will call that specific service so it might be a transaction service and I can have get transactions update transaction delete transaction in the service so if I want to view transaction it should be something like get transactions get transaction for one month get transaction for two months get transaction for one year something like that so there should be different APIs written in the service layer and then service layer will talk to the database or it will talk to the DO or it will talk to some APIs again I mean the service layer will call some APIs maybe a RESTful API get the data update the model and change the view accordingly so service layer will update the model and will notify back to the controller so when requests come to the controller controller will execute some services services will load the data to the model and passes back to the controller and then controller will present it to the view and view will retrieve the data from the model so request comes here so controller will execute the service service will load the data to the model and then controller passes this model to the view which is present here and we will retrieve the data from the model and the response will go back to the user so here we are following like solid principle so single responsibility so every entity in the controller will just be responsible for managing the routes and show the data to the uh, end user and update the models accordingly while services will talk to the APIs or talk to the database and then update models accordingly so in case of maybe Spring Spring Hibernate we can have one more layer which is called as DO layer data access object layer where services when want to get the data will talk to the DO layer while in case of angular JS there will be controller there will be template views there will be model inside the scope but the service layer will not talk to the database rather it will call give the ajax calls to the restful apis so in the service layer will give the call to the restful api the restful api will return the json data back to the service and then those json data the service will update into the model and then controller according to the whatever the current route is there it will have that view on the page and that model will be displayed on that view so this is nothing but MVCS or model view controller and service layer thanks for watching